So when do we expect 5G networks to roll out? Well, 2020 is a target for many stakeholders. Um, however, some early uh, movers, like uh, in South Korea, they intend to have it all in, in action in the Winter Olympic 2018. 5G is, is going to provide um, um, an experience to the end user that it has an infinite bandwidth of connectivity to the network and it has instantaneous access to the service. The opportunity that 5G brings uh, is the value that the end user will receive. As a consumer, uh, it will have the trust in the network that the, the data uh, that is given by its car, by its phone, by its laptop, by it's all going into one network and, and under one identity and under one security umbrella. It's a holistic security approach that must be carried in a 5G network. That is how I see um, all that variety from e-health to um, the, the washing machine, connected washing machine or connected uh, TV to the house will enable the end user to feel trusted with the network. For 5G to address the demand of IoT networks, it needs to uh, provide mass connectivity as well as ability to bring mass data from different data points to a one center for uh, collection and analytics that needs to provide and, and create value from that data. So when, when we roll out 5G, we will see that this mass number of devices that come into the network need to somehow be identified and they belong and have, have access to the network. Federated identity is another element that we are looking at. This is a solution that is already um, been tested in some countries like Canada. The devices that are in the network might have uh, might form identity and, and trust model among themselves and this trust model might have to be used as a means of uh, authenticating the device. This is one, uh, so one possible solution that we might see in 5G networks in future. Today, um, 5G standardization is actually starting up. Uh, 3GPP is already uh, mandated to, to start it. Uh, in 2016, they will be um, writing the first series of specifications uh, that will kick it started. These specifications are also uh, driven by use cases that uh, groups like NGMN, which is a, a community of operators, are forming and uh, they, they're giving themselves a mandate to, to define the use cases that will give them the business model to build the network over the 5G. And there's a vast number of these use cases that they are exploring.